We're gonna go from this to this. Happy Sunday to everybody watching today. It's so good to be sitting down and talking to you as per the usual. I'm gonna pop on some makeup, we're gonna talk clean beauty, but we're also gonna go all over the place because that's what we do here. So grab a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you feel like drinking, settle in, and yeah, let's put some stuff on this face. There's so much to talk about. And I was thinking about that this morning before filming. I'm like, yeah, I have so much to talk about. Now I can't think of any of it. Anything that I use, by the way, links, shades will be listed below in the description box. You can always access them there. Last week was pretty hysterical because every day I would be putting on makeup. I would finish and be like, I gotta take this off my face. I just didn't want a lot of makeup on my face. Instead, what I was doing was reaching for tinted moisturizers or SPF and then putting a little concealer on top of it. It's just hot and humid, so we don't want to put a lot on there. But also, I just feel myself moving further and further away from solely complexion-based products like a foundation or, you know, I'm multitasking with everything. It's probably also because I'm trying to use everything out. I don't know if you ever do that, but I just really genuinely did not want to spend a lot of time putting on my makeup. I really did. I was like, when did this become so complicated? Put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. So this, by the way, is the Glow or the Only Glow Tinted Face Oil. This is from The Organic Skin Co., which a lot of people don't talk about, and I happen to really like the brand. This is a very messy little contraption, but it is essentially a tinted oil, and it adds a little bit of color to the... Well, this looks pretty intense. It adds a little color to the face and it really just kind of washes over. You've seen glow drops and things like that. That's kind of what this is. There is a strong floral scent, which I don't like. Just, it's something I've been reaching for. It also is really great for in the morning if I don't want to wear a lot, speaking of what I just spoke about, I can just put a couple of dabs, I can apply it with my hand, and it evens out the readiness because of that slight tint. And it's really not heavy oil at all. So it provides the tint, it provides warmth. Fair skin types may really like this if you like the ingredient makeup. You get a little too heavy with it, it's not good, it's just too much. There might have been a plastic stopper that I ripped off. So I wanna, get, wanna give them the benefit of the doubt there. I'm refreshing my website. The structure of it's gonna change a little bit. It's gonna be so gorgeous, I'm really excited. But as I'm doing that, I'm refreshing old reviews. And one of the top reviews on that site, most traffic received, which by the way, your girl gets a lot of traffic on that website. So it's gonna be interesting to see this migration happen. Google search engines are like, what's happening? I'm very into this stuff. I'm, I'm considering doing like a Techie Tuesday kind of, I'm very obsessed with it. I never talk about it over here. And I feel like it can help smaller businesses and founders. So that's another thing I want to do. I just want to do all the things. The Merit Multi-Stick Complexion Stick. I panned it. I didn't really like it. I didn't like the finish. Anyway, as I'm going back in and reviewing things, or updating things rather, I was like, oh, maybe the drop of oil will work on this. So I tried it and I'll show you today. It gives you some far away, like you'll be able to see it nice evening out. You get a little bit more of a glow. Give it a minute though, because I've tried this a bunch this week. Some days it's good, some days it starts to separate and look like there's product. When I first did it, I was like, oh my god, this is how you do this. This seems to be a thing. I've been trying it with all the sticks that I've had, the foundation sticks, because really at the very beginning of this channel, I tried the Well People Bio Stick, I believe it's called, and it's a foundation stick because I was using a conventional stick. I was using the Shiseido SPF stick and I was obsessed with it. It's really good, has a ton of cones, like silicones and, you know, it's just performance wise, it was really good, but it's totally not a cleaner beauty option for my skin and what I'm looking for. So I was very into them and then I just had, I struggled as you all saw. <laughs> I deeply, deeply struggled. Not really, like, life could be a lot worse, right? But couldn't get those foundation sticks working. So I'm just putting drops of oil on everything, you guys. That's what I'm doing. Not heavy. So I know everybody wants to know. I just, this is what I have out. This is not what I'm recommending, but it's the typology. This is the night oil, I'm pretty sure. So do as I say, not as I do kind of thing, but lightweight oil, jojoba comes to mind. So you saw the evening out. Do you have a lightweight SPF on underneath? But yeah, the merits. So let's just talk through this and see what it looks like towards the end. I will go into natural light so you can see what this makeup actually looks like. IRL. I'm going to use this eyeliner from Ilia. I did try the Flovedo and Albedo, which is a smaller brand. They're very eco-friendly. Um, that eyeliner looked gorgeous. The black, it looked great. Really strong payoff. Uh, definitely did not hold on. Just wanted to update you over here. 
I'm gonna go put this on off camera because I can't multitask eyeliner in the camera. I just need a mirror here. So I need an audio lighting visual person. I'll be right back. I haven't been wearing a lot of eyeliner, but this Ilia one lasts forever. I'm working my way through it. It is plastic. I'm going to use the Mob Beauty one instead. It lasts really well. This one lasts really well, but it's plastic, like I said. Oh my god, yes. Okay, <laughs> I have to tell you about this thing as I apply the next step. As the brand continues to grow and expand, I have been looking for video editors because I remember doing this when I had something like 200 subscribers and I was, I was she was a little bit ahead of herself, you know, she was a little bit ahead of herself. I'm sort of at this point where it's just, it needs to change a little bit. I need to see if I can delegate, see if that makes enough business sense. I'm kind of doing those bigger questions right now because bigger stuff is changing in my life, professionally speaking, like there could be a move there, there's stuff happening. So I have to get smart with the ROI and that means time and money. So I'm looking for these video editors and I somebody recommended I use Upwork if you're not familiar if you're an entrepreneur or if you're on there as a gig worker or freelancer I have had a ton of luck on Upwork so I went there and that route and then I'm also looking I was looking on Fiverr by the way this was gifted from 2020 Beauty it's a ophthalmologist I believe created eye care brand and eye makeup brands so they have brows they have mascara wasn't really crazy about the mascara. This one holds, this is their brow gel and it's infused with things that help growth there. She overplucked, she overwaxed, we need it. Doesn't hold as well as the Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia. Brow freeze, somebody told me that theirs dried out. Mine has not dried out, my friend, so I'm just crossing my fingers there. But I'm on Fiverr, let's go back to Fiverr. I'm looking around and I see this little tab and it says UGC content. This is the Flavado and Albedo High Glow Bronzite. This was gifted to me. I asked them for this because people were asking me to try it. This is a bronzer. I'm not using it as a bronzer. I've been loving this as an eyeshadow that you just, I'm very into the finger painting stuff lately. So I see this tab on Fiverr, it says UGC. Click on the UGC tab. There's about a thousand, over a thousand talented humans on there that offer UGC, user generated content. I'm in this funny position where I work for a Fortune 1 company in their social media space and I see how they function. I've worked for startups and publishers and stuff in the past on digital content marketing. That's my shtick, professional corporate Britney. Brit. Over here, obviously I am a creator. I definitely don't like to think of myself as an influencer because I don't like the word, I don't like the things associated with it, but you know, I'm in that space and so I see these creators and they're making videos and they have these trailers where they're showing brands what they can do for them. Great reviews. Now I am not anti making your money on the side hustle. There is so much of that, you know, <laughs> like solopreneur guru stuff happening out there, hustle get it, do what you gotta do, just don't burn out, okay? I'm looking at this and there are some beauty reels in there that they're showing like their portfolio. I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir on this one, but there was a lot on there and brands are just paying $75 and a lot of the examples that these creators give are like, send me your product and I'll give a glowing review that you can use wherever you want. By the way, they're not charging enough for full image usage rights. I don't think creators understand having been on the contract creation side of that, Sorry, some of you are gonna to wanna to go to sleep right now. Oh my God, $30 for your face and likeness to be spread. You could be on a billboard in Japan, happen to a friend and you wouldn't even know about it. Although she found out because somebody took a picture of her. It was a really weird story. Don't just give it away. It also makes it really hard for other creators. They are creating it and they're like, just send me the product and I'll put it out there. And I saw it and I just, I don't know if it pays to do honest reviews. I don't know if it does. That's where I'm at. I'm gonna keep doing them because I enjoy it and I love my community. Every subscriber I have and all of your feedback and comments, even if it takes me a long time to respond, I do appreciate it. The silver lining there is maybe actual honest human, not generative AI reviews will be the most valuable thing. Let's, let's see what happens. But there is an army of people and you've seen them. I've seen them on my Instagram. It used to be just photography and stills and video, but now everybody can do that and lo-fi is a trend. I don't know how I got so far into this topic. To me, that would be fine because it's the creative. It's not an opinion. It's not performative and it's authentic. But now it's just like, hi, I'm Molly and I tried this and I really love this and I give it to my kids. She might love it. She might love it, but what if they don't? Are they gonna say no? And are brands going to 
pay for a collab with somebody who provides an honest review if it's negative? Most likely not. They'll just send product and just wait and see how it goes. Funny stuff. As I go through my older products, Inika, bronzer, black plastic, not a fan, but they're doing a lot of shifts with their sustainability and packaging. So I'm excited to see that. Little, there's a little bit of the separation from Merit happening, but maybe the oil drop is the save there. As I move these things over to the new site, the ones, I'm not gonna move all of them. That's another story. We'll talk about that later. I get to redo and update these reviews. It's kind of great for the products I still have, not all of them. That would be weird because they would be remarkably expired, like six years old expired, and we don't want to use that. This is, I don't like that I like this, but I bought it before I was getting really clamped down on the plastic, and it's the Say Do blush, and it's just gel, lightweight, dewy blush, and I'm not even a blush person, and I like it. Uh, so now I gotta use it. There are other options, like I would do the Miracle Balm from Burt's Bees with the lipstick make my own blush. Like there are other ways around this, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I really like this blush. And I've said that, you tell me how many times have I said that? I don't know, like twice. It's just very natural looking. Man, I like it. I really like it. And then of course, she loves the multitasking moment. Doesn't look great on the lip. I'm not mad at it for that, but I do like it for a little extra warmth on the eye. I think there was something else I wanted to talk to you. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, so in the midst of all of this, I'm still working with my functional nutritionist, therapy practitioner, diagnostic, whatever, it's a very long title. Side note, Organic Skin Co. again, they gifted this. What a lovely company. They're really easy and nice and lovely to work with from a creator's perspective. Sadly, I, I am not seeing a ton from this mascara, so I might double up with something else. Back to the tests. We're still in the testing phase. I signed up for a year's worth of, well, basically it's a year program. We've gone through multiple tests. The hormone test was fascinating. A lot of this is really interesting. I'm going to publish these on my podcast. The next episode, I'm calling this series Lost and Found. The next episode is coming out this week. I'm running very behind on sending that to my editor. Whoops. Let me see. It's like barely there mascara and shh, I really like a lot more oomph. So we've done one, we've done the gut test, we've done, the hormone test was very eye-opening. I also went to my primary care. I talk about that. I am very into an integrated approach. I don't bash either. I think there is room for both. Just the testing has to happen. The diagnostic portion of it has to happen. So that's what's so great about working with this person I'm working with now. Is it perfect? No. The hormone stuff was really interesting, but what's more fascinating is I got the hair tissue mineral analysis, which talks about all the key minerals in your body and your levels. And I learned so much. The last conversation, which will be the third episode, probably the most impactful for me because that's when all of the dots start connecting. The mineral levels, like my magnesium and calcium were through the roof, but that's because they weren't being absorbed. And then that goes back to progesterone and estrogen levels. So I'm in my early 40s and these are when things start shifting. And I love seeing right now all of the talk out there for women's care with menopause actually but I don't there's not a lot of people talking about perimenopause or the thing I mean maybe because I don't know I wish they didn't call it that I wish they called it like I don't know we'll have to come up with a better naming convention but anyway things start changing and your hormones start changing but it all affects each other and we know it but to see it numerically and quantified is so cool. I'll give you a spoiler alert, my progesterone levels, that I want the whole world to know, but I really don't care. They're low. Sadly, there's a ton of people on TikTok and I've seen a lot of younger people through my main job are like, oh, I'm trying this now because they're cycle syncing and they learn it all on TikTok and they think it's okay to just put these things and do these things. It's not through test results, so it's a little scary. And it just makes you think more about, well, it made me think more about how I just wish everybody could have access to this type of content or information for themselves. I have the Western medicine and the integrative approach to it's just like this just needs to be more affordable and yet I know we're really far away from that point. Ultimately, I believe you have to listen to your body. And one of the best ways to do that is to track what's going on if it's not a trigger, but then work with somebody who knows how to test it. And I'm not just probably gonna take her word for it. Now I wanna take those results because I'm weird like that. And I want to see if I can get similar tests from a different practitioner. She's also very low key in her approach. She's not like cut out this and eliminate this, which is why I'm working with her. But I want to talk to somebody else. And are they going to get a different test result? 
Case in point, there's these over-the-counter Everly Well type tests. My best friend took them and she's like, those results weren't accurate. I had a hair test for a hair tissue mineral analysis. Maybe I can go somewhere else. And if they're conflicting, then, you know, I can see why a lot of people might not do something like this. But I think in terms of taking my personal self out of it and looking at it like a reviewer, to validate spending thousands of dollars on something like this, is it worth it? Is it accurate? I think that would be kind of interesting to like have the tests compared to each other before investing. It's kind of like comparing foundations, except they're really, really expensive foundations. That I am intentionally using an Aether Beauty product. I know they're out of business now, which is really sad, but this is an homage to what Aether was all about. I love what they did. I hate that this was plastic, but the majority of their stuff had sustainable products. They were really a pioneer in that. The founder was a pioneer, she's female. Hopefully she's off to do amazing, great things next. I did catch their sale, so I got a couple of items. And palettes, their palettes, I thought this to myself in the very beginning when I started using them. The palettes last forever, and I was like, how are they ever gonna really make money at that? I don't know, because I, I use them forever. I do that with most palettes, though. Here's the final look. The majority of this is in the lip. I just, this is what I've been doing all week with the minimal makeup, and I will show you an up close in natural light. I can see a little bit of the separation on the skin. So there's that. Hope you enjoyed this. I will have links like I mentioned to everything. Thinking within the next two weeks the new site's coming out, you're gonna hear so much more about that. And I wish you all an amazing rest of your weekend. I hope you have a great week. I'm really sending all the love and all of the positive energy your way. I will see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye. I should take my hair down for the reveal, but... Hmm.